Hey guys, it's Tamisa's Gamer, and I am back with another video. In today's video, we will be doing episode 1 of the coding tutorials. This is going to be HTML, and I'm going to teach you the basics. Now, once I'm done with the basics, I will get onto the advanced stuff. That'll make, like, really cool stuff, and, um... So let's just get this started. So this is going to be the introduction, getting started, everything like that, setting up and all that. So first of all, what you want to do is turn on your computer. Okay. Now, hopefully you have your computer turned on. What I want you to do now is go onto the internet or notepad. N notepad will work for this, guys. You can use notepad. It's all fine and dandy. You can use this. But for me, I prefer something called brackets. Now, um, brackets is just another, it's just a co it's just a text editor thingy. Once all these pop up, we're going to close them all. Okay, so now, in this tutorial, like, in this tutorial thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to show you how to code a website, but in this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be coding my own website. So, if you want to download brackets, just go here, go on to your, here, go, brackets, I spelled that wrong, brackets.io. Enter. You'll come here. A modern open source text editor that understands web design. You want to click this and download it. Um, if you need help on learning how to download it, tell me. Um, these are just some things. I have this one. It's it's all right. You don't need it though. But um, you could just go down, get anything you want here, and so that's it. I'm gonna leave the link for that in the description. Now let's start coding. Now I'm going to use brackets for one re actually wait no before go into your desktop, go into the new, you want to right click new oh new folder and you want to name it website. Go just go with website, okay? So so there's your folder. Now you want to go in there. No, wait no, no you don't. You want to go here, file, new, file, save as then desktop, find website, double click it, change this to index.html. Has to be index.html. Now really quickly I'm gonna check to make sure I don't already have an index.html. No I do not, but I'm just gonna delete all of these. One sec guys, I'll be So I delete that folder, it's not there anymore. So now index.html. This is very important. You have to have the .html or else this will not work. Save it. Now here, no matter what you're on, notepad or brackets, you do that thing, HTML. There you go, you just started your website. Now go down about, I don't know, 10. Go here, tab, and then you want to go head. Go down. Title, and name this whatever. So I'm going to name this, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, what should we call it? Uh, well, one sec, guys. Train's coming. We are back. Yeah. All right, train's gone. So what you want to do? I'm just gonna name this introduction. So now, if I were to save this, right, and go here, open this, open this, it'll open up my internet, and I don't know if you can see it here. Let me just try to move it down. Introduction, right there. Oh, where'd it go? Introduction. 
So there's nothing there yet. So we're going to keep that open. Close that. Close that. Go back onto brackets. And then just move that back. And save. Now here, you want to go body. For me, I go BG color, which changes the background color. Equals pound nine 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 so six nines and close it with a um one of these things I don't know what they're called I really wish I knew what they're called so now if I save it now and then I go back here do this the background is a nice light gray color so now I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna go h1 which is a header which is just a big like a bigger header. So I'm just going to really quickly write down a few things. H1 tag. And then I'm going to go down. I'm going to do H2. Hello. This is a H2 tag. Now, guys, when you open a tag like this, you must close it like this. So, see here, HTML. So it's open arrow bracket slash HTML, forward slash HTML, and then close um, arrow bracket. I'm just going to call them arrow brackets until I figure out what they're called. So, now look, if I go here and do this, this is, this is an H1 tag, it's an H2 tag. Now you can go all the way down to H6. So I'm just going to go H3, hi, H4, hi, H5, hi, H6, hi. Now go here, and just look, it just gets smaller and smaller. Now you can do P for paragraph, let's say hi. And go here. It's smaller than num it's smaller than H six, smaller than er, no bigger than H six, bigger than H five. I would say just a bit smaller than H four. Maybe the same maybe the same size, but so that that all doesn't matter. So let's just get rid of all that. So now, really quickly, I forgot to close the body. So close the body. Now the reason I like brackets so much is that when you open a tag it auto closes it for you, which is amazing. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to set up a really basic website. So I'm going to go down to here, I'm going to go footer, and then I'm going to do um, Tmesis Gamer Tmesis Gamer YouTube copyright 2016 and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this now this is an anchor tag anchor tags are just pretty much where you can put a link so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go H A href um, http colon forward slash forward slash tiny url dot com forward slash Tmesis gamer move this tag put it here at the end like that there and then if I go here has this click it and it redirects me to my YouTube channel so I'm gonna go back and um so what I can do now so I'm gonna add some. I'm gonna add some filler. So I'm gonna add a, f a header one. I'm gonna say. Now, if you want this to be aligned anywhere, you can go align. That's nice spell align. Align equals parentheses center. And I'm just, I'm just gonna give you examples here. High, right? So high. Go here in the center. Go align right, lines to the right, 
then you can align left, which aligns it to the left. So I'm just going to align it to the center, and then I'm going to align the footer to the center. Close. Um, let the not work. Okay, you cannot align the footer. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so I haven't really explained what the my plugin here does. It just so say I was like this and like say it was like this and it looked really ugly, right? When I save it, it makes it look beautiful. Now I'm just gonna that does not look beautiful, so I'm gonna go back right to there, do that, then do that, do that. Oh, that's not okay. Um. So, take this in, HTML to start, head, which you don't really, all you need to know right now is the title, title introduction, then head with a forward slash, you need to close it, then you need to open your body tag, you do not need a BG color, I just add that in to add the background color, um, H1 is the biggest text you can get without editing anything. I will teach you how to edit in the second or third episode, I don't know yet. Now, this is another one, a break tag. Now all a break tag does is it moves this down. Like it puts a break. So um say I wanted to put now underneath of this, say I want to put a paragraph tag and say, Hey guys, this is my website. Save it. Go here. Now it's down here because of, of the break tag. Um, now you can always do a break. And then there. But guys, I want you to know this. If you put a space and then open another P and say hi, right? Since I have beautify, beautify on or whatever it's called, it'll go down. So I cannot really do anything here. Dang it. <laughs> so I just do that. And then. Then I. Oh, let me try. Save it. No. Whatever. So usually it will go up there. But. Oh, no, no, sorry. That's, that's not what I was going to show you. Sorry, guys. I'm tripping over my own things here. If you put. Enter and go down and say hi. Yeah, it'll just appear on the same line. Pretty much another thing that I like about beautif Beautifier, whatever it's called, is that if you have anything wrong, it fixes it. It's like you could go H1 hi and go hi, save it. See, look, it doesn't register the enter, it puts it right there. So try not to make those mistakes. Um, so hi, now I'm going to change this to welcome to the introduction, no, welcome to the home page of my website, website, go here, welcome to the home page of my website, now in here, in, these, in the opening tag, you can also do color, equals parentheses pound symbol let's go want red to be no seven eight seven eight seven eight I don't know I'm doing this horrible right now sorry go here can't change the color yet I'll teach you how to do that in second or third episode sorry I need to keep on remembering it's just teaching you some of the... Alright, so basically all I'm doing in this is teaching you guys the basics. So another one that you're going to want to know is, U is UL. You, you don't... That, that just stands for unordered list. That means that there's... Like, it's not an ordered list. Like, there's no numbers. So you can say, like, cheese. And then go down. L. List. This is... This is how you open a new 
line for the list tag, okay? So then, say you want to say butter. Here, there you go, you have your, um, oh, you have your list. Now, an ordered list, OL instead of UL, is just a bit different, but it just adds like one and two. So say you're going to go here and say, yeah, um, H3 align center. These are my favorite snacks. I know cheese and butter are really weird snacks, but whatever. These are my favorite snacks, and you have cheese and butter. Now you can always align this, I believe. Let's see. Um, this is kind of a learning experience for everyone, but I'll be right back, guys. So obviously that didn't work, but uh, I'll be back and I'm going to teach you guys about, I want to teach you guys about, I don't know, I'll teach you about something guys, be right back. Uh, Alright, so, again this is only introduction, so here, I'll show you that it does work on this as well. HTML, head, Title, introduction, but this one's a lot, this one's a bit harder because it doesn't assist you. So, body, bg color, pound symbol nine 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 nine. Oh, that's. But if it's all going to be the same digit, you just only have to do three. I'm not going to overcomplicate it, so I'm just going to keep it like that. And you go H1, C, this works, 2, um, slash body, and then slash HTML, and then go file, save as, um, website, all files, C dot HTML maybe okay so then go onto my desktop open up website oh, no C C works with Notepad as well same stuff everything is the same I'm just gonna delete this. Now, if you guys want to learn how to do anything, just tell me. Um, I'll do it. Uh, so, what, 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 is it, what else did I want to teach you? I'll teach you a header. Header. Hello. I haven't worked much with headers, but yeah, it just goes up at the very top, no matter what. It's like, I'm pretty sure, just did this, right? And you can, like, put it, like, I don't know, down here and go no okay so header it's just I don't really know what a header is for but I use them sometimes but you always want to put it underneath of the body oh that's not what I want to do um header hello header well I guess Oh, you know what the header is used for? Okay. Um, this is something that you don't really need to know right now, but I'm just going to teach you because it's a part of the header. So you go into here, new, new. Yeah, I'll do this later. All right, guys. Um, this wasn't really planned out, but this is just all the basic ones that you need to know. You will. Oh yeah, and also, just just so you guys know, really quickly, because this was bugging me forever. If you do open, t open the tag, and then you do forward slash. Uh, wait. 
this work? Oh yeah, exclamation mark. That, that. Then you say, hello there. And then, that, 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 to close it, save it. You would expect this to pop up on the website, correct? No. It is called a comment tag. This is so that um, um, if you're working on a project in a large group, so I don't know, so if I went on to like any major thing like Planet Minecraft or something, right? If I wanted to Planet Minecraft, um, it's a whole ton of different stuff. I, I'll teach you guys how to do this stuff, don't worry. Um, so all this, uh, in, inside of here, in some places, so say right here would be a comment tag saying that this is the projects. Now, we can't see it, but the developers can. So that, so say I was working in a big group with someone, right? And say I left off at like an important part and someone else needed to finish it for me. I'll leave a comment tag saying, finish this, or leave it alone, and skip five sp So say, like, I told him, okay, I was working here, like, finished at UL, enter five times, then continue. So I would um put this I wouldn't put it at the bottom. Which we'll see, get rid of that there. I would put it right here. And finished at UL. I fin I, fin I finished here. Enter five times. One, two, three, four, five, and continue. So then they do their work here. And then you you remember where you did your work. So I'm just gonna fix this all up. Now that's all fixed, um, I guess I'll see you guys all in the next episode of whatever I do, whether it be coding, CSGO, anything else. I will see you next time, guys. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Peace out.